wow, this is really bad. <laughs> Especially when you're editing a first draft. in July video. I am talking about something I hate. Aww. If you have just been checking out these videos for the first time, I am doing a video every day in the month of July to take you on an adventure of what it's like in my life and a little bit about me in general as a writer, as a person, the adventures I go on, etc. So I am excited to bring you another video in the I Spy in July video playlist. If you want to check out ones that have already come out, there is a playlist that you can go and see all of the videos. I am talking today about why I hate editing. Oh, editing. I... <laughs> Poor editing. As much as I 1 million percent agree that editing is a very, very important part of the writing process, I hate it. It's my least favourite part when it comes to writing and creating a story. I find that editing takes me out of my flow, it takes me out of the creative process and puts me into a very critical process, trying to figure out what I need to fix, what I need to change, um, what I need to update, what I need to maybe ask questions about and research more. Um, it just is not fun. <laughs> it's not as fun as the actual writing process. I love writing, I love the planning of the story and I love getting out the first sort of lot of it, even the first um, go at an additional chapter or a completely changed chapter is much better for me than it, than the editing process. I edit in a very specific way. Um, I find it easiest to, my first draft is usually on the typewriter, then I will go through and hand edit that and then type up all of that and that is my second draft and then from there every edited, every draft that gets edited I print in physical paper and make notations by hand. Part of the reason why I don't like editing so much is that is really time consuming, that process. Um, if I was editing on a computer screen, it's easier to just backspace things or type new things in um, than it is to physically write it out and then type up all of those changes later. Um, but it is the way that I have worked out is the best way to edit for me. Everyone writes and edits differently and everyone needs different processes to get the best work that they can. It's the best way for me to weed out all the bad stuff and see physically all of the mistakes that I might have made, like the really obvious mistakes that maybe I made in typing things up. But editing in general is pretty sucky. Um, <laughs> being Seeing your work and going through it and seeing all the horrible mistakes that you made or the stuff that just doesn't make any sense, or that maybe you showed people this and you look back and you realize, oh, it's horrible. It can be really frustrating and you just go through and think, boy, I'm stupid, or wow, this is really bad, <laughs> especially when you're editing a first draft. But the whole point of editing is to make your work better. Nobody's first drafts, I don't know anybody whose first drafts are gold, um, whose first drafts are the drafts they go with. I don't know any writer like that. First drafts, even for planners like like me, I like I plan quite detailed. Um, but even for planners like me, your first draft is still not not always a million percent because the whole point of a first draft is just to get it out, get the story out, print it, write it, whatever, however you get that out, type it up, um, get the story out there so that then you can go through it and process it and change it and fix it and stress over every word in every line and <laughs> take 10 years to go through the process. Some people genuinely do take a really long time with each book because they um, are obsessively checking each <laughs> each line. Um, I usually, when it comes to editing, I end up with about six or seven drafts. Most of the time I would say not very many get less than that um, and some get more than six drafts depending on the level of editing that I needed to do. Like for example, Kidnapped Entanglement um, had half the story and then half had to get added and then later on there were several chapters that got added and several aspects that were changed. And so because there was a lot of actual like 
really big changes to be made, there was more drafts. I think if I had to count, I think I ended up maybe with eight drafts of Kidnapped Entanglement. The next project that I'm working on, the next big project I'm working on, I'm already on draft four and there are a lot of changes to be made. But every time I have to sit there and go through and edit, if it's a big manuscript, um, then it takes a really long time. It's really time consuming and really tedious and really like nitpicky small changes. For me, the editing process sucks away all the creativity. It brings in the analytical, which is fine. It's good to be able to get the best product you can. I don't know, it just takes away a lot of the fun um, and it becomes very, yeah, very tedious, very monotonous, particularly when your books are really long. When your process is to print and edit, uh, those, it's a lot of pages. <laughs> Double spacing so that you can make notes um, and you can cross things out and rewrite stuff. Um, it's a lot of pages. Like the manuscript that I'm working at the moment is huge. Um, even though it's only about 65,000 words, it's a lot of pages and it's a gigantic heavy piece of like, you know, it's crazy to drag around. <laughs> I often like to change my venues when it comes to editing. I find it easier to edit if I am not always in the same place. So sometimes I'll shift around in my house. I might be in my office one day and then I might be in my living room um, or somewhere else in my house, uh, the backyard if I had a table. Um, I've only just gotten a backyard. So uh, when I was at my parents' house not that long ago, I um, would grab a chair and sit in their backyard, but my last house didn't have one. So I wasn't able to do that. Um, and I love going to, as cliche as it is, like a coffee shop. I also hate editing in silence, so I will often have music happening. Um, but sometimes even that is bad, and even that can be distracting depending on the music that I'm playing. So I have to be careful with what I pick, because it's easy to get distracted. And that brings me to another point of editing is already tedious, so it's really easy to get distracted. Really, really easy for me to find things that distract me and that I let distract me, and I'm okay with being distracted because I just don't like it. It's not the most fun part of the process. It's very important. It's nowhere near fun. Um, <laughs> when you finally get to the end, uh, I actually almost feel like I don't edit the last few pages as well as the rest because I know I'm coming to the end and it's almost like, I'm finally at the end, quick, let's just get it done. As I get further along, like my first chapter was always really meticulous. And then as you get further along, it's always just a little bit less and less. Um, I think that I've decided <laughs> moving forward that the last draft of edits I might edit out of order if it's just like a final checks draft edit um, because I don't want that to be the case and I want it to be the best I want to do the best on every single chapter so yeah I mean yeah it's not a fun process for me it's not enjoyable but it is super important and I would actually almost say the most important part um, that I have found the most valuable part before it even gets to the editors who know what they're doing. Because <laughs> these are all self-edits. I'm not an actual editor. These are all self-edits before an editor-editor steps in. Uh, but I, you know, I want to do my best and have my best foot forward. To all the writers out there, please let me know if you love or hate editing. Is it a love-hate relationship? Is it bittersweet? Do you like it for some reason? Are you an editor who loves editing because that's your job? <laughs> I would love to hear your thoughts and see what you think. Let me know in the comments below. But otherwise, thanks again for watching this I Spy in July video. Like, share, subscribe, whatever you want to do. I'll see you guys in the adventures.